Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. We're going to talk about Deadpool and Rob Liefeld. But before we do that, uh, I want to talk about Kickstarter and Indiegogo really quick. I don't think it warrants a whole nother video. I've been talking about that uh, off and on the last couple weeks about how Kickstarter lost 35% of its revenue year over year. They had to lay off 45% of their staff, including gatekeeper Camilla Zhang. Uh, Camilla Zhang, who was it, uh, she was interviewing with Sci-Fi Wire last year. She she only had 600 views on this video. Uh, anyway, uh, she's gone, and uh, Sean Gordon Murphy launched his Indiegogo campaign after several uh, weeks or months of talking about it. And he's almost at $100,000 in his first day on Indiegogo. But I thought this was really interesting. Uh, he had an interview with Newsarama. And uh, there are some other YouTubers were talking about this, uh, but this this one line says everything. They're basically like, Sean Gordon Murphy, why would somebody of your stature go to Indiegogo? And he's like, I like Kickstarter and would consider working with them again in the future, but I'm a little hesitant. They hired someone who's been a critic of mine for a while, someone who influences which projects they take and promote, I believe, uh, <clears throat> Camilla Zhang. I'm told this person left, Camilla Zhang, so maybe I'll try my next book with them. You never know. Uh, if they're around, uh, if they're around, you know, you don't lose 35% year over year and uh, lay off damn near half your staff and stay in business, but he's doing pretty good. $83,000, I think it's it's the first day. So this, we're going to see more of this. We're going to see more creators going to Indiegogo over Kickstarter. Uh, they're like, man, they even take less of a cut. Uh, they assigned him a helper. Uh, they, they have connections to distributors and storage and all this kind of stuff. So it sounds like they're actually stepping up their game when it comes to comic book crowdfunding. Uh, so good on him and good on him for calling out Kickstarter because a lot of people have had problems with it. And, uh, you know, it's good to see somebody of, of uh, Sean Gordon Murphy's uh, stature, I guess, in the industry uh, kind of legitimize Indiegogo. Uh, anyway, let's talk about Rob Liefeld. Right. Uh, Rob Liefeld, you know, says stuff, uh, talks about Deadpool. And for some reason, there are numerous headlines all over the damn place. Anything he says is picked apart and scrutinized a couple days ago. He said that there were no plans. Marvel Studios had no plans for a third Deadpool movie. And now he's clarifying those statements. He said the other day, he said, you can't gloss it up. Uh, you want to know the plan with Deadpool right now? They have a goose egg. Zero, zero, nothing. There's no plan for Deadpool 3. Uh, he was on this podcast with uh, Inverse. I, I got to tell you, Inverse, right? This is this is Inverse, this big, uh, you know, I'm using air quotes here. You can't see it. Pop culture website. They only have 30,000 subs. This video that, you know, Rob made these comments. They made the rounds. Only got 3,000 views. Are you freaking kidding me? 3,000 views. You guys get Rob Liefeld on. Rob Liefeld and Ty McFarlane. Both of you gentlemen, you have an open invite to come on to Clownfish TV whenever you like. I absolutely would love to have you guys on. Uh, we're going to get you more views than 3,000. Anyway, so now, again, more headlines about Rob Liefeld on Gizmodo, formerly io9. Now it's all being rolled, rolled into one thing, I guess, because you know none of these sites are performing. But they did an interview with him. And uh, they said Rob Liefeld gets real about his controversial Deadpool 3 comments. I don't know where the controversy is. Again, only 3,000 views on Inverse. Uh, that's pretty sad, man. That's pretty sad. Come on, Clownfish TV, Rob. We'll get you more. Uh, Jeremy Conrad, uh, Star Wars guy, I think. Uh, MCU Cosmic founder in EEC says, Rob Liefeld must have seen the Deadpool 3 production grid and that's been going around for a few months and got mad that his name isn't included with the producers. Uh, but um, Ching, right? Anyway, let's see what he said. So he said that, yeah, there was no movement on Deadpool 3. Um, he knows that. Uh, Liefeld told io9, and does that worry me? No, not at all. What I did was I answered a question honestly. And what I learned this week is just lie. Just tell people everything is lollipops and unicorns and rainbows, and you'll be better off in your life because people want to be lied to. That's why they love Clownfish TV so much. Uh, that's why they love it so much, because we don't we don't sugarcoat things. Uh, just because some guy goes, yeah, we're still moving along, that's code for there's nothing to see here. That's Hollywood. 
I know of some uh, comic books and graphic novels that have been optioned, and they've been singing Limbo for like 15 years. Um, off the top of my head, I think uh, Amulet from Scholastic, I think it was optioned like a damn near 15 years ago, and it's still in Limbo. And it was last time I checked on it, it was with Fox, and I think all those projects got canceled. They may never make a movie of it. Um, that's the way Hollywood is, man. That's the way it is. Uh, Obviously, Liefeld is annoyed at how his words have been framed, but he does stand by the content of the words. He he does think the blame for the lack of Deadpool news should be squarely focused on Marvel. However, he does not feel that's any kind of bombshell. Look at all these cosplayers. Look at that. The fact is, after the release of Endgame, Marvel had a multi-year plan in place, a plan that was in place before Disney bought Fox. That's it. Disney bought Fox. You know, whatever plans they had, they're up in the air, and who the hell knows what they're doing with the X-Men. Uh, that resulted in Deadpool, as well as the other X-Men, becoming available to the company. Uh, I think they're going to screw it up big time. Uh, so Rob says, regardless of whatever inside perspective I may have, what I do know is that until a movie is put on a schedule, it's not taken seriously. He said, what people don't like is that I have assessed the schedule for the next give or take five years, and I don't see Deadpool on it. So I don't see that it can arrive earlier than that. Uh, if Deadpool was a priority, there are plenty of other things Marvel could do to show. That's true. You know, but Deadpool 1 and 2 made a lot of money, but that was for Fox, and that was before the acquisition. Uh, io9 reached out to Marvel Studios to ask about the status of a potential Deadpool 3 and was not given a comment. Of course you were not given a comment. Couple of things. Uh, one, Disney is freaking the hell out right now because Disney's losing money. They probably don't know what they're going to do. Everything's been pushed back. Um... And to your io9 uh, part of Gizmodo, you don't really matter. <laughs> so they're not going to give you a statement. If they're going to release a statement, they're going to release it through a much bigger channel than io9 on Gizmodo. I'm just saying. Uh, to Liefeld, the lack of movement isn't even the biggest problem. It's that he feels the studio is letting the audience's excitement for the character dissipate. My whole thing is you get access to this franchise, give it a priority, he said, and that's not me acting pretentious. That's me going, this is a pretty valuable commodity. And I also have three teenagers, and I see how fast their interests come and go and how everything is vying for their attention at all times. Uh, the co-creator also freely admits he has a financial stake in Deadpool. Of course he does. Of course he does. Liefeld made deals when he first created the character that gives him royalties anytime the character is used anywhere. Smart man, merchandise, video games, and yes, movies. Uh, when Deadpool exploded onto Fortnite, that was really good for my kids' private education. Uh, yes, it was. I have Deadpool revenue streams that have existed since 1991. I already get paid. If you make this movie or not, I'm still getting a fat check. So, yeah. Um, and we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen with the MCU. We don't know how Disney plans on incorporating the uh, X-Men into the MCU. Uh, nobody knows. And Hollywood is basically on fire right now. Uh, nobody's making movies. Uh, everything's been put on hold. Uh, who the hell knows? I mean, I think uh, a Deadpool 3 would be pretty cool. The first two were pretty cool. Uh, they were pretty good. But it's just so funny that uh, we've gotten to a point where anybody says anything about any movie and it becomes like 19 articles. And most of the time they get it wrong right most of the time they get it wrong all right guys so i'm gonna wrap this one up please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants and uh rob and todd mcfarlane if you're listening give me a call give me a call we'll talk later thinking about printing your own comic books graphic novel or manga we recommend our friends over at print ninja we've been using print ninja as long as they've been printing comics and both the quality and price is excellent Mention Clownfish TV and get an additional 5% overrun of your book order quantity printed for free. For free! That's free books, people. Just mention this offer on the phone or in the additional information box on the quote request form. That's printninja.com or click on the link in the description below. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.